Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a story of what if Naruto mastered Kurama's chakra early, what if Naruto had gained control over Kyuubi's chakra during the month of the training for the finals of the Chunin exams. What if Jiraiya taught Naruto more than summoning watches Naruto takes the whole world by storm with near unstoppable power and unmatched potential but that the chips are down and it's all or nothing against hidden threats and godlike enemies will he survive. Before we start thank you for all of the support it really means a lot to me, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and check the description for the creator of this great fanfic. So, let us start. Chapter 5. The Demon's Lullaby, You Summoned Me, questioned Naruto from a knee in front of the Hokage and K's cage. You may rise Naruto, it doesn't suit you to be on a knee. Stated Sarutobi kindly. Quite the performance, I did not know you had a water affinity, though with Kashina as your mother, I shouldn't be surprised. You are an Uzumaki after all. Hee <laughs> hee, about that. I don't have a water affinity, mine's wind. Stated Naruto, getting a shocked look from both Sarutobi and the case cage. What? Are you saying that you were able to use two of the most infamous water jutsu, with less than the normally required hand seals? Without an affinity for water? Questioned Sarutobi, his mind racing to figure out how that was possible. Well. Yay. I mean, what's the point of having two high-ranking jutsu if it takes like 5 to 15 seconds just to do the seals? I'd be dead before I got halfway through the hand seals. Stated Naruto, not understanding the complexity of his jutsu. That's not what I'm talking about Naruto. It's the fact that not even I can do those jutsu without the full amount of seals, because I do not possess a water affinity. Stated Sarutobi, as he glanced down to the start of Shikamaru's match. He turned to see a confused look on Naruto's face. I know every jutsu in Kanaha's position, minus personal jutsu of my ninja and clans. I can use every basic element, but I only have an affinity for earth and fire. I can perform a fire dragon and earth dragon with two or three hand signs, but for jutsu like the water and lightning dragon, I must use all the hand signs. Oh Su, does that mean I have an affinity for water as well as earth and wind? Questioned Naruto, when I did that card thing, it only showed I had wind. Can you do earth jutsu with less than the standard seals? Questioned Sarutobi, to which Naruto nodded. You are indeed a very talented shinobi Naruto, don't be surprised if you make Chunin at the end of these finals. Let him fight Gara first. I was rather disappointed in the Uchiha, perhaps you can give Gara a challenge, young Uzumaki. Stated the case cage, truly wanting to see what the Uzumaki could do, especially if he had heard right about him being Kushina's son. I have to, otherwise your son will kill my friends, even if it means starting a war. It makes me wonder, if he has such free reign in an allied village, how does he behave in his own village? Questioned Naruto, subtly using just enough of Kurama's chakra to increase his senses, feeling a spike of anger come from the case cage. I suggest you tread lightly Genin. Insulting a cage, even an allied one, can cost you your life. Stated the case cage, his voice dangerous. Jiraiya was about to shut Naruto up when Naruto felt a huge spike of negative emotions, and retorted. I would rather kill myself than die by the hand of a man who doesn't even have the respect of his own son. At least I hope that's what is going on. Hate to find out that you're planning on betraying our trust. After all, letting a mentally unstable Jinchuriki loose in any village could be considered an act of war. Naruto turned away from the frozen wind shadow and towards the old man. May I go now? I would like to congratulate Shikamaru on his loss. Sarutobi, lost in thought simply nodded and said, of course my boy. Be careful fighting Gara. he's much stronger than Neji. Naruto nodded and moved to pass Jiraiya, only to pause and whisper to him, something's wrong pervy sage. There's five different signatures besides the case cage, and all their emotions are negative. Medical Bay, you're very skilled for being a genin, we've already repaired all the joints in his fingers and his elbow. Stated a random med nin that had been dedicated to fixing the last Uchiha's all but crushed arm. It's really nothing. All the joints were popped out of place with a pulling motion. It's the easiest dislocation to heal, and he should be back to full range of motion in no time. Stated Kabuto with a smile, though on the inside, his mind was running a mile a minute. Orochimaru ordered me to heal Sasuke, but doing this will delay the invasion. It could even stop it from happening. And why has he changed the start signal? Does he want to see that idiot get killed by Gara? 
Contestant Box, Really Shika. I knew you would quit, but why quit right before you were going to win? Questioned Naruto, a deadpan expression on his face. Well, it would be troublesome to go on fighting. I'm already low on chakra, and having to face Shino next, there's a slim chance I would have been able to finish the fight before his bugs drained me, then even if I somehow managed to beat Shino, who is still fresh after makeup boy forfeited, the I'd be facing you or Gara. And there is no way in hell I'd want to fight either of you. Explained Shikamaru, who then took a large breath and leaned up against the wall. Wow, I think that's the most you've ever said at once. Stated Naruto as he started moving towards the doorway out of the contestant box. See you later Shika. Where are you going? Questioned Shikamaru, his interest peaked in the blonde. Well I got a half hour before my fight with Gara, so I'm going to get ready. Hokage Monument, in Naruto's mindscape, okay, can I ask about his abilities? Asked Naruto as he sat on the edge of Kurama's area. Well, we've both seen the redhead use sand, but being a Jinchuriki, he can also transform into a half form, maybe even a full form of Shukaku. Lucky for you, the best way to slow him down, maybe even stop his sand attacks completely, is to soak it with water. So all I need to do is soak his sand with water. No, soaking the sand with water will only slow down the movement of that sand. The best thing to do if he doesn't go half of full form would be to break that gourd on his back and drench his sand with water, then attack as fast as possible, dodge the slower sand, and beat the shit out of the kid. And if he goes half or full form, what then? Do you have a massive sword on your back? If he goes half form, soak him with water and hack away. If he goes full form, I guess we're going to find out just how much chakra you can handle. What was your last max out? 12% flow rate. That's what I could use two days ago. That should be just about enough for the lower six tails. You're still not skilled enough with the tailed beast chains to help at all. How is the tailed beast bomb coming? With Gara, what's he planning? We were supposed to begin when you beat the Uchiha? Questioned Konkuro, confused that the invasion had yet to start. It does not matter. I get to fight Uzumaki in 10 minutes. He will be the one to test my power. Stated Gara, his tone dangerous and his eyes bloodshot. What's so special about the Uzumaki? You tossed the Uchiha around like he was nothing, so why would the blonde be any different? Asked Baki, who on top of being confused about the invasion not starting, was also confused about Gara's choice of target. He was supposed to target the strong Jonan, not some punk that got lucky versus a Hyuga. My choices are none of your concern. Just know that I choose he is the one I will fight, this invasion is not my priority. Arena floor Naruto appeared in a red blur, or as he called it, a Kurama shunshin, as it was a simple shunshin that he used the Bijus chakra for. He looked around, seeing that not everyone was in their seats yet, he decided look around to see where everyone was. Jiraiya was still standing next to the old man, figures, he would either be there or at a hot spring. Kakashi was staring at him, no doubt either still in shock from his new look, that he beat Neji or some other pointless thing, or perhaps he was angry about Naruto winning when Sasuke, his star pupil had not. Oh well, he didn't care. He was already off of Team 7 anyway, he wouldn't have to deal with him anymore. Sakura had yet to notice he was on the arena floor, that or she just didn't care. She too was most likely angry that he had beaten Neji when Sasuke had lost. Ino was staring at him with the same look she always gave Sasuke, which he had to admit, he wasn't sure if that was a good or bad thing. Tenten, Guy and Lee were all aware of his presence but were all talking amongst themselves, most likely how he had beaten their strongest member. Shikamaru and Shino had made their way back to their respective teams and senseis, and were either congratulated for his loss, or in Shino's case, was listening to the idle conversation around him. Genma appeared next to him, a kind smile on his face. Don't worry kid, I got your back if this heads south. You're one of the few that do. Thank you for that. Stated Naruto calmly and kindly. You know kid, you're nothing like I remember from before last month. I'm kinda digging it. But you should still pull a prank every now or then. Smiled Genma as he balanced a sinbon in his lower lip. Naruto was about to respond when he felt a huge swelling of negative emotions flare up roughly 15 feet from him. He turned and looked at the spot Gara appeared. Did he sense me? Not even Baki can sense me. You definitely will be the one to challenge me thought Gara with a maniacal grin. 
Let's start this now, I will not wait any longer. Oh shit, I hope you're as strong as you look kid. Thought Genma, the first fight of the second round. Naruto Uzumaki vs. Gara of the Desert. Are both fighters ready? Both nodded, waiting for the fight to begin. Begin. Gara lashes out with a sand spear aimed at the blonde's heart, which he blocked with the flat of his sword before he spun around and chopped at the side of the red head, only for a wall of sand to block it before Naruto retreated from another sand attack. How is the ground completely dry? There was a foot of water on it when I left. Oh well. Water style. Great collision wave. Naruto once again blasted a torrent of water out of his mouth, aimed at the sand using Jinchuriki. Gara blocked the powerful water attack, though found his sand was much harder to control, forcing him to use far more chakra and concentration to use, as well as reacting slower. Water style. Hidden Mist Jutsu. Kakashi and company, that's Zabaza's jutsu, cried out Sakura, shocked to see the jutsu she almost died in. He doesn't seem to have the same control over it that Zabuza did, thought Kakashi out loud. Asuma. Can you see into the mist? Questioned Guy. No, the kid made it even thicker than Kushimaru's. How much chakra does he have? Arena Gara was starting to panic. His sand was becoming almost impossible to control and he couldn't make any more due to the fact that the ground was covered in water. Add the fact he could no longer see or hear his opponent which should be impossible as though we're standing on water, and you have one frightened redhead. One. Two. I'm coming for you, sounded a demonic Naruto from everywhere at once. Everything was silent as they felt chills crawl up their spine. Three. Four. I'm coming back for more. Gara suddenly felt his sand struggle to his back, barely blocking a heavy blow from the blonde's giant blade that would have cut the Suna Jinchuriki in half. Five. Six. Throw some blood in the mix. Gara. Fearing another strike, began coating himself in his drenched sand, trying his best to shake the water out of it so that he could use it more effectively. 7. 8. Death is your fate, a vicious killing intent rolled out of the mist, turning the chill crawling up everyone's spine turned into a blade of ice stabbing into their hearts. 9. 10. The sound of metal slashing into earth sounded, Gara felt a pain in his left bicep. He looked to see the giant blade stuck about an inch into the sand, Blood running down the face of the giant cleaver, he followed the blade and saw his opponent holding it. Let's play again. Naruto ripped the blade free as he slid it along the wound, forcing Gara to shriek in pain. Blood. It's my blood. I'll kill you. Everyone what was now confused as to what was going on inside the mist as almost had been hearing was a demon singing some kind of nightmare tune, though some Jonin could hear the footsteps on the water, even I just barely, and were very impressed that a genin had so much stealth. Naruto felt another great wave of negative emotions as muck started growing up from the ground, surrounding the injured redhead. Sending some more of Kyuubi's chakra to his eyes, he saw that Gara now had his whole left side covered in wet sand, his left eye was now a gold diamond with a black backdrop. Suddenly, the mist exploded outward as the Shukaku-induced Gara flared his chakra, as well as drying the sand around him. Come Uzumaki. Make me feel alive. Naruto knew the fun and games were over and began channeling Kurama's chakra throughout his body, going straight to the maximum amount he knew he could handle. His body was encased in a red, almost orange glow as his cloak billowed in a non-existent wind. He was going to end this right now. Naruto shot forward at low Jonin speed, but had to dodge a sand that extended out towards him. He spun, cutting it off as he moved quickly towards the sand-covered shinobi. He watched as the sand that had made up the arm returned quickly to Gara and began to coat his left side, encasing most of Gara's torso in sand. Naruto saw that Gara was getting out of control, sending another chop at the injured arm of the Suna Nin. Naruto began leading him out of and away from the stadium. Shit. I can't put everyone in danger if he goes full-blown Shukaku. I need to lead him away thought Naruto as he lunged and punched the wall on the opposite side of the spectator boxes, blowing out a large section of the wall and began running. Where are you going Uzumaki? Don't you run from me, shouted Gara as he took the bait, following Naruto out of the stadium and up the face of the Hokage monument. With Hiruzen, case cage don't know. What exactly is going on? questioned the Hokage in a neutral tone, even though on the inside he was quite pleased. That was fantastic. I still have chills up my spine. My word, what a great intimidation tactic. I believe someone should he be added to the bingo book. 
It appears that Gara is embracing his inner demon and that your shinobi has led him away from the city. Quite the ninja you have there. Stated the case cage, silently questioning why Orochimaru hadn't signaled the invasion yet. And if my shinobi cannot stop your son? Questioned Hiruzen, even if Naruto had improved greatly, he was still going up against a biju crazed genin. Then I shall step in. Do not worry Hokage Dono, I won't let my son hurt any of your shinobi other than the one currently fighting him. Lied the case cage, sending a glare at Orochimaru. Gakus good, but I don't think he's good enough to stand up to an enraged Jinchuriki. Stated Jiraiya. If things go south, I will be saving my apprentice. Jiraiya then took off, along with Genma, following the two boys up the Hokage monument. Go make sure he doesn't try anything until the fight is over. It would not look good for us if our best genin was beaten. Stated the case cage, though his tone said, make sure you don't fuck this up. Orochimaru, who was hidden as a masked guard to the left of the case cage, simply nodded and followed his old teammate to the top of the Hokage monument, perfect, even if Gara doesn't kill him, I still can. Then I can start the invasion and finally kill Serutobi sensei with Kakashi and company, that was the single most frightening thing I have ever experienced. Stated Ino, her voice finally coming back to her. Why is he running away? He could have beat him. Questioned Kiba, still sweating from the demonic lullaby the blonde had sang. Please, if Sasuke-kun couldn't beat him, the Naruto Baka can't either. Stated Sakura, though her shaking shoulders and frightened tone showed clearly that even she didn't believe what she was saying. You're both wrong. Stated Shikamaru. Naruto isn't running, he's lead him away so that innocent people don't get hurt. And Naruto is much stronger than Sasuke. He always has been, even in the academy, Naruto always improved at the same rate Sasuke did, even though Naruto had no one to learn from outside of school and was always taught wrong by the instructors. Yay right. Sasuke was rookie of the year, stated Sakura, her voice back to its usually tone, though she was still shuddering every few seconds. And who was it that managed to prank every teacher? Who was it that was escaping Anbu at the age of 10? Who was it that somehow managed to pass every class, even though the teachers made him sit out of every single important lesson we ever had? Questioned Shikamaru, making everyone rethink the blonde, but none more so than Sakura and Kakashi. Hey, that's right. Naruto always had to sit in the hallway during important lectures or sit out of physical classes because of his pranks. But then how was he able to improve? He's an orphan. Is he really talented enough that he taught himself everything? Thought Sakura, her mental picture of her blonde teammate shattering. He was held back. But the report said that he was given special training by the best of the academy. Even I couldn't have made Genin by myself. Thought Kakashi, growing sick with himself at the way he handled his team. I should have known. The second I started teaching them all the same, Naruto began catching up much faster than should have been possible. I always just figured that the extra training he got at the academy was showing through. Extra training he never got. Kakashi looked up at the top of the Hokage monument, seeing brown-covered ninja and an orange-covered ninja fighting it out. And now he's fighting a jonin level opponent toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How could I have been so foolish as to think that he was talentless? Hokage Monument Naruto had stopped using his sword, as he was far too slow to do any damage with it when his opponent was the same speed as he was. Now he was sending supercharged punches and kicks at the sand-covered Jinchuriki, blowing off huge chunks of sand and causing heavy damage anywhere he hit flesh. Gara took a hit to his injured bicep and jumped back, making some space, you're strong Uzumaki. I've never been injured before and you've managed to do it multiple times. Though that ends here, now you die. Feigning sleep technique. Gara fell limp as sand exploded around him, forming the giant form of Shukaku, who yelled out in glee, yeah. At long last, I'm free. Oh shit. Summoning Jutsu, shouted out Naruto, a cloud of smoke matching Shukaku's height revealed a massive scarlet red battle frog. Hello again Naruto, need my help? Asked Gamekin as he looked around, spotting the one-tailed biju. Ah I see, you're fighting Shukaku. I thought he was sealed. He is. His container let him take over. Stated Naruto, hoping that Gamekin wasn't as clumsy as he always says. Oh Gamekin. It's time to play. Hold on tight Naruto, we have to wake up his container, and I am quite clumsy. Stated Gamekin as he lunged forward, 
swiping at the biju with his spiked susumata, catching the giant biju on its right arm, tearing it off, only for another one to grow in its place. Thanks for listening I hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more what ifs and support the author, see you guys in the next video.